this clip might not even stay in because Jeeps are notoriously loud uh, Wranglers anyways, so you might not be able to hear anything I'm saying. However, I guess I'm continuing this vlog today. It's still Thursday, the day I ended my last vlog, but I've been listening to The Child Thief by Brahm on the way up here, so I wanted to update you guys before I got there and the weekend started. It starts out pretty intense in the prologue and I was like, okay, hey, are we, ugh, what? What? Sexual assault, rape, it's so prevalent in books and like I get it because in real life it's extremely prevalent. Like. I don't know a lot of people who haven't been assaulted in some way, but uh, man, I don't know if just that time lately, but I've been reading too much of it. But anyways, then it started to get super interesting and I love this Peter so much more than Peter from Peter Pan, <laughs> the actual book. He's a little shit, <laughs> but he's also like super wholesome and good and he's saving children from what I can tell right now. So I suppose we'll see where else it's going. I think I'm close to 10% of the way in right now. It's like almost a 20 hour long audiobook because I had to have a jam session on the way here. I uh, didn't listen to it the entire time. So I'm like two, almost two hours into it. But yeah, so far I'm really happy and I love the descriptions. It's just very Brahm compared, like I've only read one of his books, but it just fits right into that type of feeling. Very descriptive, which I love very much a horror book and yeah we'll see what else on another note I drank too much of my bang you guys if you drink these rainbow unicorn is the best flavor you can bite me but I've had too much caffeine and stimulants at this point and I need to get out of the car which is good because I'm almost here and okay so I was doing like throwback songs of like late 90s and early 2000s and then I started listening to Bullet, uh, Bullet for My Valentine which was like senior year Britney at her prime. Loved Bullet and why don't they make music quite like that anymore? Do you guys have bands similar to like, is it Poison? What is, what is the actual name? It's the one that tears don't fall. It's that album that just like the memories music it's phenomenal I need more music like that in my life so please if you have bands that are similar to that style please let me know because I would love to listen to them but um, yeah so that's where I'm at in my audiobook we'll definitely be reading more of the fires of heaven tonight and then I also would like to continue on with Ava Martha book two in the theft of swords find up um, I'm 20% of the way through it. I have been for a month since my loan got returned, but I just got the loan again this morning. So I need to make time to read that. Read super fast, super fun. So I should be able to, but I'm almost here, almost pulling in. So I'll talk to you guys later. this vlog in the middle of this campground without seeming crazy while I'm talking to my phone. Maybe it'll just look like I'm on a phone call, but I thought I would update you guys on what I've been reading. I'm like 30% of the way through. I almost said Lost Gods. It's 
The Child Thief by Brahm, and I freaking love it. It's so much better than Peter Pan. It's one of the best retellings that I have ever read. It's way better than the original, and it's super, super dark, and definitely an excellent horror novel from what I can tell so far. So I am loving that, and definitely gonna listen to it on my run again tomorrow morning. Then, what else am I reading? The Fires of Heaven. I'm almost 20% of the way through it right now, and contrary to what most people say about Jordan's writing being too descriptive and just things like that, I freaking love it and I'm never bored and like I will read two pages describing people's clothes, especially like the ale, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, and I'm like okay now I know just what they look like and I'm the kind of person that loves that so I've really been enjoying it. I'm not that far, it's a long book, I'm only 20% in, but I have so many thoughts, but I am doing a spoiler book chat for it, so don't, I'm not gonna obviously give any spoiler thoughts during my reading vlog, but we're having a great time, and hopefully you guys enjoyed some of the clips from the sand dunes. I almost saw someone die in front of me, I fell off their bike, had to slam on my brakes, and then someone almost hit their head. It was a scary time, but this might be the only update up here this weekend, but I just thought I would check in quickly. I am home now. I thought I would just quickly update you guys before I shower and probably get into bed here soon. Um, I did not get a chance to read any more of, I almost said Lord of Chaos because I was editing a video, Fires of Heaven today, but that is my plan to do next. I've been doing so much stuff since I got home from camping. I had to clean the Jeep. Once you're on the dunes, you never get all the sand out of your Jeep or car, whatever you use ever again. Sand comes out of everything for forever. That's okay. It's the price you pay. It's worth it. So I was doing that, laundry and packing, cleaning. I feel so productive, super happy getting videos scheduled. I just love the feeling of being productive. I need to take my nail polish off. That didn't last long, but look at these babies. Can you tell that they missed me? We have a Miss Owl Fox. Ravana Bear and Carly. Can't believe they're touching. They miss me. I'm so happy to see them. I've been out of town so much. And life just never slows down because I'm gonna be like busy or out of town until like mid-October. <laughs> just I don't know it's it's a lot anyways um I don't think I told you guys that I'm breaking ground tomorrow so I will hopefully show you guys a pic a, a video clip of the whole because I'm for sure documenting the whole process just because it'll be fun to look back on so that's exciting and I got so much listened to today of the child thief and it's great it's so good i just recommend this to anybody that likes fairy tale retellings but anybody that likes horror like i said before i think it's better than the original peter pan it's just it's a 20 hour long audiobook so it's not a super long book but it's it's long enough to be pretty in depth with the history of the world and world building itself um and you get to know the characters so well i just I love it so much. It's so dark. And I was talking to my friend who recommended Brahm to me. That's why I started reading his books. And um, because I didn't realize he was also an artist uh, because there's full illustrations in his books. And the art is phenomenal. But the thing I love about Brahm's books is just the imagery, the way he describes everything, especially because it's horror. So it's like phenomenal. And it, it has to be because he's an artist that he's able to make you picture so well what's going on so very creepy the atmosphere is great but just the story i care so much about the story which sometimes doesn't happen during horror or during audiobooks so i'm loving my time reading it like i said once i get all my stuff done tonight it is just after seven now i want to spend at least an hour reading the fires of heaven because it's going to be pushing it to finish that by the end of the month now that I kind of, I didn't waste time this weekend. I just didn't have time and that's okay. I was on vacation with my family and uh, just sometimes you don't get to read as much. So no problem with that, but I'm going to have to read like crazy to finish it. And I know that's a lot of days, but I just don't have a lot of reading time. So it takes me longer to read, but I'm really enjoying my time reading Fires of Heaven still. So yeah, that is going to be the two books probably that I'll be reading for the remainder of this reading vlog. Yeah, hopefully you guys liked some of the little clips that I put in from Silver Lake. It's a unique place up there. Any of my Michiganders know if you've been there, um, it's a time. <laughs> but that's all for tonight. I'll let you guys know once I've read more. This, I guarantee you, 
is to come dig my property. So this is what we've got so far, friends. I wonder if I can go in there. Trying not to have my new neighbor watch me record, but I guess I'll have to get used to it. But here I am. So I was outside filming a clip. <laughs> in my basement and my neighbor walks over that I'm meeting for the first time. Love that for me. Perfect. Um, yes. So she's great though. I loved my neighbor. Um, she's a nurse and I love fellow healthcare professionals. My sister's a nurse. So, um, but anyway, she was super great to meet and talk to. So that just like makes me so relieved. And she also feeds the deer and animals. So if you guys know me, you know, my goal is to be like Snow White and just have all the animals come to me. It is Snow White, right? What if I've been saying the wrong princess this whole time? It's gotta be Snow White. It is. <laughs> and I wanna sit on my back patio or like near the property line, have all the squirrels and chipmunks flock to me and eat out of my hands. And I wanna feed the deer and watch them all, their babies and hunt the people that hunt them. <laughs> oh, I'm just so excited. Such a great day. Cause I met with my builder tonight and we made some changes signed off on some things, had to spend some more money. Lord help me through this process because the first time that I have to sign off on things, I already have to spend $4,000 more. <laughs> I'm not going to make it out alive. I'm going to need to start selling blood. Can you do that? You can do that. You for sure can do that. I know people that have done that. Plasma, plasma, start selling my plasma. <laughs> need to make more money, please. Um, this is annoying, so I'm gonna go, but I have this precious girl here with me. And she really, really, really wanted to be in this video. More like she just missed me because I'm never home. My poor angel. <laughs> Isn't she the cutest? Um, but yeah, I'm like 70, almost 70% 70 of the way through. I wanna say Lost Gods every time, but it's not even. Hey, miss, I love you, mama. The Child Thief, it's excellent. And it's one that I'm so curious about what's gonna... That's her chewing on the phone. The outcome. And it's one that makes me constantly guess and try to figure out what's happening. So I'm loving that. Thankfully, my friend has already read this so I can kind of talk to him about it. Because reading books and then being able to talk to people who've already read them at the same time is so much better. So yeah, I'll likely finish that in the next couple of days. I'm so surprised about how much I care about the characters in this book and the side characters, especially because it takes a lot for me to end up caring about side characters. So Brown's just amazing. Then, what is the book? I almost said The Shadow Rising. I'm not reading The Shadow Rising. Nick is reading The Shadow Rising. I'm reading The Fires of Heaven and I'm loving every second of it. I'm honestly never bored reading this book, never ever. And the last one, thank you for the kisses, honey. The last one, I remember when I was 20% of the way through, I was like, oh my God, we haven't gone anywhere yet. 34% of the way through right now, and I don't feel like that at all. So that's good news. Um, but I'm gonna shower and get in bed and read, because it's 8.30. And that means it's time to start getting ready for bed when you're old like me. Right, honey girl? Let's go find Owl Fox. Miss Owl, would you like to say hello? Please do not be alarmed. Please do not be alarmed. It's okay, honeys. See how scared she is? But she comes and she sleeps like right on my lap. So she really does love me. Don't want you guys to think that my cat doesn't love me. It's so weird that my entire background is like 24 seven a gym. <laughs> Oh, but we have a Rana bear. But having like a weird anxious couple of days. And so it feels really good to get some stuff done with the house tonight and feel good. Cause honestly, I, the first, living in a basement at first, I was like, okay, I can hibernate. I like this, this is great. And then the last week or so I'm like, I'm losing my mind. I feel depressed being in the dark basement. So I'm ready to get going on the house. You guys, you would not believe how much the cost has increased on the supplies for my house since I signed the contract last month. He told me that my house right now, when I signed the contract a month ago, 
costs $22,000 more if I were to build today, like renew, like sign a contract today. $22,000, that's a lot of money when you're already spending a ton of money. So good, I glad I got my prices locked in when I did. We almost forgot Carly. We would never forget Carly. Hey, honey. Look at Rana Bear. She's like, I'm coming, mama. Come on, Ron. Ron Bon. Come up here. Join in the fun. You see Owl by the desk. My babies. So, it's time to end the vlog again. This seems like it's going to be super dark, so I apologize about that. Let's see, where are we at? I just did an update every day this week because there wasn't a whole lot to say because I'm reading the same book still, so I didn't want to be repetitive, but I am, I think I have just under two and a half hours left of The Child Thief by Brahm until I'm finished, so I should finish that tomorrow or Saturday, and I still love it. And I'm honestly surprised how much I love it just because I don't tend to love audiobooks that are this long. I'm just still very invested in the story. I really recommend this fantasy horror book, you guys. If it sounds interesting to you, if you like Peter Pan, if you like retellings, if you like horror, you have to pick this up. I don't know why it's not talked about more. I've heard it talked about on a couple channels of people that tend to like horror, but it's just not talked about enough and it just makes me want to read everything Brahm has written. No, you can't see me very well, but it's way prettier to focus on the sunset right now, which is why I love living out here. <laughs> so yes, I have no complaints. Like if I were to sit here and try to criticize that book. I mean, it's not a five-star book because it doesn't have that like special feeling, I guess. If I were to sit here and like try to specifically criticize what I don't like about the book, like I, I can't think of anything that it should be doing differently other than it had more horror elements in the beginning than, than at the end, but I still like it. And there's definitely still horror elements. And it has, it, it makes you wonder like who's good and who's bad at a lot of times, which I enjoy as well. Then I am 55% of the way through The Fires of Heaven. I'm just loving every single second of it. I've not been bored for literally one moment reading this book the entire time. I just absolutely love it. And with that being said, at 55%, there's not too much going on overall. But the reason I love it is because it's just focusing on the groups of characters and helping you to get to know them all better and watching how their interactions and relationships with one another are growing and changing throughout time, which I really appreciate because I'm a character-driven reader. So that's my favorite thing to read about is just like mundane things with the characters. Don't get me wrong, there is a lot happening. And in a 14 book series, I wouldn't expect an insane amount of action to be taking place throughout every single book in the series. Now I did hear that the ending of this is quite epic so I'm definitely looking forward to that. I had several people tell me that this is like a significant point in the book, the end of book five and the end of book six so I'm dying to get to it but I just love Robert Jordan's writing style and he is definitely making it to my updated favorite authors list because I'm going to do one. I did one for 2019 and I'm going to do one for 2020. It's definitely going to look a lot different, but he has definitely made it to that list. He makes me laugh so much and that is laughing is the key to my heart in everything in life, but in books as well. So if you can tell a great fantasy story, but make me laugh all the time while you're doing it, then I'll love you for it. It's just like little things and it's not trying really hard, which is why I really appreciate it. So far there's not enough Matt. <laughs> And I will just say, do you, is it Aeol? Is that how we say the Aeol women? Probably my favorite group of characters ever created ever. These ladies, I just don't even have words for them. Like, I can't, uh, they're the best. And if you've read this series, you know why, that they're just perfect. And every scene where Jordan like describes them more and more, and you learn more about their culture and their dynamics and relationships and um, with each other. I just love it even more every time and I want them to be in like every scene. Um, so that's all I'll say about that so it doesn't spoil things but I want to I want to be one of them. <laughs> what else? I think that that pretty much wraps it up because those are the two things I'm reading right now. 
I am loving my reading this month compared to the last two months. This is the best reading month I've had in a while as far as my enjoyment of books. I think I've given everything. The lowest I've given is like a 3.5 and that was an audiobook. Everything I physically read is just amazing. So I'm definitely going to be giving this book at least 4.5 stars, I'm sure. And then same thing with The Child Thief. It's at least a four. We'll see how it ends. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this guy in this clip because it's just so beautiful. It's getting bright. I should move it a little so you can see the sun. You can see it a little bit more and me a little bit less. So that's good. <laughs> and I will be finishing that by the end of the month for sure. I should finish it in a couple days. I need to get, I want to get to 65% tonight. So that's quite a bit more since I have to edit this whole entire vlog and upload it but we'll see. I'm really excited. I'm going to do some filming tomorrow. My nephew's coming over, so I will be playing with him all day, but I'm going to do some filming this weekend. I'm excited to film my September TBR. I have a lot of good books that I'm planning on reading, but I'm going to be out of town like every single weekend, but we'll still get some reading done. <laughs> oh yeah, so I'm almost at 4,000, which I usually do like a video you guys want me to do for every thousand subscribers so please if you made it this far comment and let me know what video if you guys have any specific ideas or if you want me to do like another q a the last one i really actually had fun doing so i could do another q a but leave a comment and let me know what you'd like to see and i will take that into consideration but thank you guys for watching and i will see you next time